akikuwa Mombasa so history ya port imekuwa tricky sana it is seen that uh, this matter is being uh, politicized in one way or the other so ukiangalia okay, during the time ya uhuru it transferred some of the operations from the port of Mombasa to where to to Naivasha, uh, which was called the dry port hmm? so listen 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 briefly to what uh, Ricardo said in regards to the board mnajua watu ya pwani badali yenu ilikuwa imepotea imesukumwa mmepata shida mingi na yule mlikuwa mnachagua alikuwa amenyamaza lakini tangu tuchukue ushukani so umesikia amenda hedon kwambia uhuru kenyata ukweli hmm? yani kwambia watu wa Mombasa ukweli that unye alikuwa amefanya nini alikuwa amenyamaza hakuwa anaongea agizo la kwanza la rais mpya wa jamhuri ya Kenya ni badari ilegeshwe hapa Mombasa na imelegeshwa so naji historia na kuanga tiki sana so ukiangalia the coast region the people at the coast they overwhelmingly voted for azimio la umoja coalition na ukiangalia na ivasha what the port was huh? the dry port was watu walikuwa wamepigia uhuru kwenye na nani the, 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 other, the other side the, the Kenya kwanza coalition ndio ilikuwa imechukua nini mingi so eh, ukiangalia now after Ruto has taken over amechukua hatua ya kutoa hiyo the port operations from Naivasha where the people overwhelmingly voted for him amerudisha wapi Mombasa which was the azimio la kwanza la umoja coalition is stronghold in a tricky sense a tricky situation by the way na kwa hivyo tuna matumaini ya kwamba uchumi wa pwani utafufuka what about what about uh, uchumi wa what about uchumi wa nini wa bwana ibasha yenye iliko ready imeanza kufufuka hivi karibuni nimemwambia gavana mimi mwenyewe nitapata nafasi tukuje na hawa viongozi tuzunguke badari tukiangalia vile biashara inaendelea kwa sababu tunataka kufufua uchumi wa hapa pwani what pwani alone no Tungetaka we like to confirm to the people of course region that the Ruto administration has thwarted the attempts to steal the port of Mombasa by the lords of impunity state capture and conflict of interest so apo sana maneno iko ameambia watu kweli Unasikia zile majina ameita uhuru hmm? the lord of unity state capture lord hiyo ingine hii badari yenu karibu iende pale siku za mwisho mwisho ya serikali iliondoka walikuwa wamefanya ukarabati wa kuimbia nyinyi badari ya pwani and i would like to thank the board of directors of the Kenya Port Authority for their patriotism because they refused to allow the stealing of the port of Mombasa but um, sincerely speaking for analyzing this speech utaona regadi yashawa anaongea ukweli by the way it was not in order for the port operations to be transferred from Mombasa because I hear that uh, many operators at the port, the, the trucks, whatever, those guys they suffered, they lost business because most of most of the car was being moved by train from Mombasa to Nini. So let me what you think about the speech. But uh, it's a nice move by the government to move lead the operations to Mombasa. Thank you. <laughs>